It's Natalie. Welcome to my channel if it's the first time you've ever been here or if you've stopped by before Thank you so much for coming back again for another video So you guys know I love to share with you my favorite products and I have an amazing Roundup. I'm really excited to share these things with you These are items that I have been loving during the springtime and honestly spring itself is one of my favorite favorite times of the year. Where we live in the Seattle area, everything is in bloom. The air outside literally smells like cherry blossoms. We have two huge cherry trees in our yard. We're so blessed because they are absolutely gorgeous. Springtime really just holds a very special place in my heart. We're looking forward to Easter and to just having nicer, warmer, sunny weather. Let me know in the comments right now what the weather is like where you are at. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, Hemisphere and it's your spring, what is springtime like for you? And if you're in the southern hemisphere and you're just getting into your fall time, let me know what you have been enjoying this season. But let's start in the makeup category, beauty, I should say. I have some like skincare stuff as well, and we're gonna move on through. I've got stuff for clothing, lifestyle, stuff in my house, stuff for my kids. It's an eclectic mix, just like all of my favorites videos, and I can't wait to share this stuff with you guys. Okay, first of all is the product that I have used probably the most for the last couple of months, and that is the Hello Fab from First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This is amazing. This is a beautiful base for a more dewy makeup look, which you guys know that I love. I have dry to normal skin and I love to have my makeup or even not makeup. I just like to have my face look plump and juicy and dewy, but not greasy. This has a slight pearlescent sheen to it, but it is not sparkly at all. This shears out so beautifully. It hydrates the skin. It actually has coconut water and hyaluronic acid in it, which are two ingredients that I love in my skincare and in my makeup. I actually purchased this based on the recommendation of I'm trying to remember who it was. I think it was that Taylor. I think she was the one who used this a lot and so I purchased it and then literally three days later, First Aid Beauty actually sent this to me in a PR kit. This video is not sponsored by any of the brands that I'm talking about today, um, but I do want to disclose when something has been sent to me, but I also purchased it. I actually have three of these now and I'm glad. And on days when I'm not even wearing any makeup, I'll always just put this on and it just kind of smooths everything out and brings life back to my skin. And this is gonna sound so crazy, but actually after I've applied my makeup, I use this as a touch up product, kind of like a uh, hydrating setting spray, like the Milky Mist from Pixi that I really love. If things are looking a little dry or cakey, I will actually take a little bit of this, warm it up on the back of my hand and press it into those areas. I know it sounds crazy, especially if you know you apply powder to your face, but this just kind of brings everything back to life and makes everything look skin-like again. And I have had no irritation or breakouts from this product and I've been using it for almost three months now. So. This is such a good one. These are some lip products that I've been absolutely loving. These are the L'Oreal Color Reach Shine. So these are like the glossy formula and two colors especially. The first one is Luminous Coral, which is this gorgeous peachy orangey coral color. It's absolutely beautiful. And then for more of an everyday color, this is Shining Peach, which it's a warm nude, but not too warm. It's actually more on the neutral side as far as nudes go. And it is absolutely beautiful. The formula, it just glides on beautifully. It's very emollient. It's very juicy without having to wear a sticky gloss. And it adds just the perfect amount of pigment to really add color to your lips without having to line it or anything like that. 
I actually shared this whole makeup look for you guys in the video that went up on my channel last week. So if you missed it, definitely go to the link in the description box. I also have a card up here for you guys to go check it out. I use this L'Oreal lip product not only on my lips, but also as my cheek color and a little bit on my eyelids. I've been able to use this in a very multi-purpose sort of way, which I love for easy makeup, especially for moms. And it's from the drugstore, so it's really affordable too. Moving on to some clothing. So let's start with what I'm wearing right now. Get this hair out of the way. I picked up this shirt at Target. It was not something that I was looking for when I was there, but I've actually had my eye out for a flower graphic shirt. I found this in the junior section. It just has a bunch of different flowers on it, rose, tulips, gardenia, etc. And I just love how it looks. It's super cute paired with a cardigan on a cooler day or a little sweatshirt. I've worn it on its own. It would be cute with shorts or jeans or even with a skirt would look really cute uh, for like a church outfit. And then I had some credits on jane.com. I don't know if you guys ever shop there. It's kind of like a zoo lily. Um, it takes a little while to get your items, but they are definitely discounted. So it's kind of worth the wait sometimes. Um, and I found this flower graphic shirt, which I really like because it's more like it's sketched. And um, this is a wildflower graphic shirt and it's by Canvas, Bella Canvas. I don't know. A lot of the stuff sold on Jane.com is like off brands that you wouldn't find in a department store, but this is super, super cute. Perfect for the springtime. I just love the flower graphics. I think it's really feminine, but also casual at the same time. So it looks effortless. Like you're not putting too much thought into your outfit but it's still cute at the same time. I love these. I've been wearing these shirts so much over the past month or so. And then the other thing that I have been wearing so much, you guys saw this in my American Eagle uh, spring and summer clothing haul video. This is their beach zip up hoodie. It's cozy without being too soft, which I really like more for like the spring and summertime. I purchased this with the idea of just putting it on over a short sleeve shirt or a tank top when it starts to cool down in the evening or if my house is a little bit chilly. I love these so much for that purpose. They work perfectly and it's really easy to put them with everything. The hood makes it a little bit sporty and it's a nice alternative to a cardigan, which sometimes cardigans can look just a little bit too like church lady-ish, if that makes sense. No shade to church ladies. I'm a church lady, but uh, sometimes a hoodie is like an open front hoodie is a better option than a cardigan, even though they're like the same weight and essentially there's the same thing. This just has filled a huge gap that was in my wardrobe and I wear these nonstop. Something else that I've been wearing nonstop since I bought them, let me take them off my feet to show you. These are my new Birkenstock sandals and I have actually never purchased a brand new pair of Birkenstock sandals before now. These beauties are this gorgeous light topish pink with flecks of metallic gold, which is absolutely so pretty without being too glitzy. These were a bit more on the glitzy side when I first purchased them because the buckles on these are actually gold, like bright yellow gold, which isn't what I prefer, but I loved the straps so much that I was willing to purchase them with the gold buckles. And then I went and got some nude colored uh, fingernail polish and painted over the buckles. They have sort of that same colored like topish pink color for the sole, which I know it will get dirty over time, but I was looking for a pair of Birkenstock sandals to be more on the lighter side and uh, to not be so dark and heavy on my feet. And these are perfect. I've been wearing them so, so much. I love these shoes so much. A couple of things in the home category. First off, the glass food storage by the Made by Design brand at Target. Made by Design is Target's house brand of housewares, uh, like organizational supplies and stuff for your home. And we uh, didn't have anything else from the brand until we got this glass 
food storage, which you guys may remember seeing it in my kitchen spring cleaning and organization video that I did. If you missed that video, I will link it in the description box for you guys to go check out. But we have overhauled our food storage. We got rid of all of the plastic food storage that we had. We've been doing some research about storing your food in plastic, even if it's BPA free plastic. Weston and I just decided that glass food storage would be worth the investment for our health and for just how it looks sitting in our fridge, we've actually found ourselves reaching for our leftovers more often because of how it's being stored. And it's just a psyche thing. Like we should be eating our leftovers no matter what. And this is something that I talked about in my five bad habits. I'm wanting to get rid of video. I don't want to waste as much food and I don't want to let as much food go bad in my fridge. And actually having the glass food storage has really just made the system of eating leftovers, storing food and, you know, cycling through the different things in our fridge. It's made it go much smoother and it's very good quality and it seems to be much less expensive than the other brands of glass food storage, the little locking lids work very, very well. They make a very watertight seal. So we've had stuff like in Weston's lunch bag turn upside down and it had liquid in it or it was soup or whatever. And it's worked out really well, these glass food storage. I can't say enough good things about them and I'm actually gonna get more because we could use a little bit more. Something else in my house that I have been loving for the past couple of weeks is this mirror. It's actually behind me over here on the wall. You can actually see my microphone <laughs> in the reflection. Um, but I added this mirror to this wall here behind me in my bedroom. It's for aesthetic purposes only. I definitely don't need another mirror in my bedroom because our closet doors are mirrors. We have lots of mirrors. <laughs> in here, but I just loved the way this brass trimmed round mirror looked. I actually found it at Target. It just elevates this little corner back here and I've been sitting here to film my videos and I wanted something on the wall that wasn't too distracting, just a nice little thing to kind of break up how plain it was back there. And I love this mirror so much for that purpose. With more light coming in through our windows because it's springtime, it just catches the light in a beautiful way, not just the mirror itself, but also that gilded, like the brass, matte brass edging. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Okay, on to a couple of things that I've been enjoying for the kids. So first of all, let's talk about this new nightlight, uh, kind of like okay to wake timer that we got for the boys. We've been putting this to the test for about six weeks and I love it so much. If you guys have seen my baby must haves videos, I am always preaching don't buy things that are expensive, that have one purpose that you don't need. Here's alternatives and I'm always sharing with you guys, you know, how to save money. And when I first saw this okay to wake little nightlight timer, this is by Hatch Baby, it's called the Rest Timer. I did not want to spend 50 to $60. I found this a year ago. That's when I first came upon it because I was trying to find something to help the boys stay in bed. The okay to wake clock, the one that looks like a little bug, we had it a couple of years ago. The boys completely disassembled it, pulled all the wires out. My kids are pretty destructive. Let's not talk about it. But I needed something. I needed to find something that really helped them. I found it a year ago. I refused to pay that price, but I wish that I had bought it a year ago because it would have saved me a year of interrupted morning time. It's, it's a whole thing. So I bit the bullet. I ended up buying it because the reviews on it are so great. It actually connects to an app on your phone and you can control the timers and the sounds and when things turn on and when things turn off and really customize it for what works for your kids. Now, don't worry, I'm not keeping my kids in their bedroom starving, wetting their pants. They're allowed to go to the bathroom and we eat breakfast at a very reasonable time. But having morning quiet time is very important to me and I I do try to get up early enough to have that time while the kids are still asleep, but having them know what's appropriate and what's not for coming out of their bedroom and getting up for the day is definitely important. And my boys have responded so well to following the cues of this light. It's replaced their sound machine. So it is multi-purpose in that way. That's something that the okay to wake clock did not do. It was just more of a glorified alarm clock, still 
more on the expensive side. And so this is like a two in one. It plays great white noise or like ocean noise. There's so many different noises it plays, but we choose the ocean noise for the boys and that uh, acts as their sound machine at night. And then it uh, turns on in the morning when it's okay for them to have quiet time in their bedroom. And then I programmed it to turn on um, like bird noises when it's okay for them to come out of their bedroom in the morning. And it has worked, I wanna say about 95% of the time. There have been a couple of exceptions, but we're learning with it. And the boys don't resent it. They've done really, really well. And when Haley uh, transfers to a toddler bed and she's able to get out of her bed in the morning, we're gonna get one for her as well. Another thing in the kids category, or I should say brand as a whole, is Hello Freaking Bello. I did a full review of Hello Bello back a few weeks ago. If you guys missed it, I'll link it in the description box for you guys. But I tried their diapers and wipes, their baby lotion, uh, baby shampoo. I also tried their baby bubble bath and diaper rash cream and I love their products so much. The more I use them, the more I love them. I am currently testing out their laundry detergent and mineral sunscreen. And then when it gets buggy outside here in the Seattle area, that's gonna be about July and August for mosquitoes. I'm gonna be trying their bug repellent. And like I said in that Hello Bello review video, I wish that they had come out with this brand sooner back when the boys were babies. They are so head and shoulders in quality above every other diaper brand that I have tried. And they don't have chlorine, they don't have dyes, they don't have any lotions, and they're actually really ethically and eco-friendly made. We all have different priorities and things that are important to us when it comes to our baby's diapers, and the Hello Bello diapers tick all of the boxes for me. So in my winter favorites video, I added a new category of favorites and something that I'm going to keep uh, featuring from time to time in my favorites videos is things that really enhance my journey in intentional living. I actually have a whole genre of videos here on this channel all about uh, like kind of self-help and intentional living and just self-improvement and they have been so fulfilling so wonderful to be able just to sit down and share my heart and a couple of things a couple of books actually that i have been absolutely loving were given to me by my mom for christmas it's taken me a little while to crack into them sorry mom but first one this is the little book of huga Danish Secrets to Happy Living. It's a funny word. It's spelled H-Y-G-G-E, but it's pronounced huga. It's a Danish word. It's in a different language. And I love learning about this concept. I've actually been following the huga hashtag on Instagram for months and months. I think Amanda Muse over on Instagram actually introduced me to it. And I realized that it's actually the spirit or the vibe that I strive to have in my posts over on Instagram and my photos, as well as my videos here on this channel. Before I even discovered this concept and delved into it a little bit more, I was already striving for the Danish secrets to happy living. Huga describes feelings of coziness and the feeling that you get when you are with family, just kind of slow living and being relaxed and maybe crafting something or reading something or just kind of sitting and doing nothing. And I love that idea. It's very cozy and we don't associate coziness with spring and summertime, but the idea of Huga is so in line with how I feel being like a total fall and winter girl that I am bringing it into the springtime. I've really been enjoying this book. The other book that I've been enjoying and it's kind of like the companion book. It's a different author and everything, but they sell these kind of hand in hand over on Amazon um, is the Lagom book. And this is the Swedish art of living a balanced, happy life. The idea of Lagom is not too little, not too much. So you're not living in abundance and you're not living in want or in need. So I love that idea. I actually think that's really in line with uh, my ideals as a Christian. Although in both of these books, I have come across some concepts and some ideas and some worldviews that aren't 
100% in line with the convictions that I personally have. But you can, you know, take what you want from both of these. And I've been really enjoying just kind of cracking into them. It's kind of like a coffee table book. This Lagom one especially has really pretty pictures and infographics and just a lot of interesting facts and um, ideas behind the idea of Lagom living and Huga living. I have a funny story about these two books and the fact that I got them for Christmas. I will be sharing that funny story over on my Instagram today when this video goes up. So go follow me on Instagram at Natalie Bennett Vlogs. Don't miss the story that I have about this. My mom is gonna laugh at this. And quickly before I say goodbye, I just wanted to highlight a couple of YouTube channels, a couple of ladies that I have been loving. I love watching their content. I look forward to their content, have really um, taught me a lot about intentional living. And I, whenever I watch their videos, I just glean new information. I'm always inspired when I watch their channels and I just really like who they are as people. The first channel is Pick Up Lines. Sadia has such a beautiful, voice, when she speaks to the camera, when she's uh, communicating in her videos, it's very soothing. I've actually received that compliment from some of you guys watching my videos that my voice is soothing to listen to and that you enjoy listening to my videos because they relax you and I'm very flattered by that compliment, but that's what I go to Sadia's channel to have. Um, her voice and the way she presents her topics or her points in her videos is just wonderful to listen to. I found her channel because I was actually looking for some healthy food recipes for some dietary stuff and health stuff that I've been going through. But um, beside her cooking or her recipe videos, I enjoy every video that she puts out, even like vlogs and stuff. And I'm not much of a vlog watcher, but I really like the way she puts her videos together. I like the spirit behind her videos and I love her channel, her cinematography, just the way she puts all of her content together. Another channel that's really visually pleasing as well as just life enhancing is my friend Sarah Therese. She actually used to be a beauty vlogger here on YouTube and then she rebranded last year to include a lot more lifestyle, intentional living videos, Christian living videos, and I've really enjoyed her content. I love her healthy habit series where she dives into different things that she has in her life that really enhances her life and the health of her family and herself and her children. She's absolutely gorgeous, very spunky spirit, and I just really like following both her YouTube as well as her Instagram. Both of their channels, Sarah and Sadia, they have beautiful content and very meaningful content, which I love to consume, um, but they have, I'm sure, very separate worldviews in a lot of ways, just like I was talking about those books, how they don't necessarily 100% align with what I believe. These two ladies I know 100% don't align with each other and they may not align with what you think or believe or feel, but I really like the diversity and I really like seeing things from another person's perspective and from their worldview. And I can take, like glean what I can use out of it and then, you know, back that up in my own life with what I know to be true, what I believe to be true, and what my own personal convictions are. So definitely check out both of these gals. I will have their uh, YouTube channels linked in the description box and then you can follow through to their videos and find their other social medias. Both of them are gems here on YouTube. They're wonderful ladies and if you go over to their channel, make sure to comment on one of their videos and tell them that Natalie said hi. Well, that is everything that I have been loving during the springtime. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the beauty products and clothing items, kid stuff, housewares, intentional living items that I have been really enjoying. And I would love to hear how your spring or fall time is going and some products that you've been enjoying. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and make sure you're still subscribed and have that bell button turned on so you don't miss my Monday uploads as well as some bonus bonus videos that I have planned for you. I hope you all are having a wonderful day wherever you're at. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you later.